I didn't know. I didn't, oh, damn, there's actually a lot more than I thought. I'm about to faint. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It took a long time. That roar. That roar sounds really good. Oh, I'm really thirsty. My stomach's kind of messed up. I, I'm happy that you guys showed up. You're all my best friend. And so, okay, well, without any further ado, uh, we should just have our, our awesome stream glitch champ people come out right now because we don't want to wait anymore. Hey, stream stars, come on out. Let's get into it. Let's start this glitch slam. Come on. Here we go. Here they are. Jericho, you know them. A zombie. Come on. In the ring, come on! What? Oh, jeez! That was great! That was great! Oh, come on, Tang! Come on, yeah! Well, if you want some... Pancake Pow! Oh. Okay, Green Grime! Wow! I wasn't expecting that! Okay, the, the creature, creature's here. He's got his green beans. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited all of you guys are here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Creature, creature, they're swinging. They're singing for you. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh. All right, let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Um, let's get the controllers. Bring out the controllers. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, come on. Come here. Let's go up. What is that? Here. Where's the controllers? Hold on, give me a, what are the controllers? See, I, I'm sorry, I, like, I, can, I can't afford the concessions. I, I, I think that's the wrong, I think that's the, no, because I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hoping you. Let's get the controllers. Okay. And the controllers. He likes to travel with oatmeal. I don't know either. Close this. Come on. This is a shit show. What are you doing? Okay, finally. You guys could just stand over here on this side, please. No, stop it, come on. Listen, I got this. Here, here, creature. There's your controller. I'm gonna turn it on. This is highly embarrassing. Don't put, yeah. There you go. Here. There's your thing. Here. Okay. There's one for you. There's one for you. I'm gonna get the hell out of this goddamn ring. Okay. Let's just start the match. Whatever the fuck is going on? I don't know. Let's just start it. What is it start? Okay, Sarah Knight's me. Let's go, here. There you go, pal. Sorry about this. Sean, I told you not, no goddamn cornflakes. I told you not to bring that shit in your house. What's your problem? Let's go. All up the first ever glitch slam. Six of the greatest stream stars of all time coming together under one roof to compete for one prize. I am your boy KG Kevin Gill. You might remember me from Triple Mania on Twitch or maybe from the Kevin Gill Show, my chart topping podcast, but I digress. Because right about now, we are about to see something the world has never seen before. <laughs> and if the introduction to this show is any indication, I have no idea where the hell this is going. And Dave Meltzer can print that. <laughs> oh, oh, it's now. It's now. It's okay. It's 
It's just a load times, brother. The fans here in Long Beach, no strangers. No strangers at all to the perils of video game playing, and sometimes the load times, somehow even in 2017, can be extreme. <laughs> Some say the creature's from New Jersey. Others speculate he's from the swamp. She's so nice. There it is. So pleasant. Go back to there. It's working. Just leave it alone. Here we go. Check out the entrance videos. Here comes the beast. Been broadcasting for several years. His homies call him Zeke when he's not in full beast mode. Got a st his start on co-hosting Man vs. Games channel. And if you want to give him any shit, maybe he just lost his mind because man drove him over the edge. That's why he's the creature. And there is no need to skip this scene. Cameraman Zoom, as the Iron Cheek would say, because this is Glitch Slam. Who's our next entrant officially? We've got them all in the ring, but we're gonna give them all their proper entrances right here. Here comes Steve. Absolute chaos and pandemonium. People in the production truck, I'm not even sure what they're doing right now. I'm not sure if it's, if it's drug related or pharmaceutical related, but the production in my earpiece is doubly chaotic as what we're seeing in the ring, and we haven't seen anything yet. Entrance videos unfolding here as these characters make their historic entrances. A character known simply as Steve. Here we go. <laughs> this is absolute insanity. I think people in the production truck are calling for the, possibly the skip button here. I'm not sure. These entrances are being, being cut short, possibly for the interest of time, because the satellite truck, it's, it's not cheap, brother. You gotta sell a whole lot of fanny packs and a whole lot of kaiju merch to make that payment. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. The stream stars are in the ring. The entrances are unfolding. Here we go, everyone's in the ring. And now we are officially underway. Six stream stars enter, only one has what it takes to go all the way to the very top of the mountain. Look at the absolute chaos. What the hell is this? She's got nunchucks. Wait a minute. What in the name of all that is sacred? No format shoot in the world could have prepared me for this. How are they supposed to compete in a game when you've got this sort of dancing exhibition going on here? The contest continues. These are the perils of live streaming. These are the risks everyone takes when they sign up for a Twitch account. It starts out small, but it gets big, and the next thing you know, you're competing live worldwide on Twitch.tv. 
Did you see that macho man type elevation? But hitting it from a part of the ring, Randy Savage never dared utilize. The creature knows no boundaries. Brutal DDT on the mummy. Ever since he broke out of his mom's basement, he's just been unstoppable. So much action in the ring, outside the ring. And now Steve's in trouble. She failed. She might be too nice for her own good. Look at this. Could it be the creature? Creature just stalking his prey. Beautiful, even flow DDT taking a page out of Raven's book. Could it be an early recovery here? Steve firing back. And Pamela, AKA Pamela Horton, her full government name, she's on the ropes, but look how quickly she's able to turn it around. No, side rush and leg sweep. First time ever it's been performed at Glitch Slam. Very evenly matched here. Wow, beautiful Huracan Rana by Steve. This could be it right Brothers, here. The One, Hulk two. Arrived. Wait a minute. What is this? Brother, we're here with you. We're here to support you, brother. All your Hogan brothers are here. Yeah, brothers, the 100 Hulk Hogan. There's Fuck you, absolute brother. pandemonium Fuck you, here. Fuck you, brother. Fuck you, brother. To say this and stuff is running you, wild, it's not yeah. even enough. Can you smell what the Hulk is cooking? What do you mean, brother? I love you, brother! Hogan after Hogan. Hitting all the signature poses a little too close for comfort for this guy. I gotta say that in the name of objectivity, I know, I don't know if the plan no here way, is for total chaos and carnage, but this is, a, this is a contest for our stream stars to compete, and they're not really able to compete fairly in this type of environment. Hogan, Hogan number four. What are you doing, brother? Oh, double Hogan. Get him, brother. Mess him up, Look brother. at this, biting. Oh, yeah. Just biting through that. I believe that is a rubber bottom. 100 Hogan's away. in control here. He was down with that Hogan squad from the beginning. It's almost like things are just devolving. They're devolving right before my eyes. As if someone put six dissolving <laughs> bullets in a devolver. A sidearm, if you will. But I digress. Steve! Steve out of nowhere! Oh my God. Steve, look at this action though, going back to Creature. Cameraman doesn't miss a shot in that Twitch TV production truck, but it was Steve who caught that beautiful, some say a supreme Huracan Rana right near those dangerous stairs. And that was all she wrote. Fans here getting out of their seat. What the hell is that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell? What the? Wait, what? What the hell is that? What is that? The it's console is gone. We can't yeah, scream yeah, without a console. Get from the beginning. We get this fucking ah, ah. Uh. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? I know. I know. I don't, I don't know. So, uh, I guess, uh, Maybe we should just uh, crown somebody the very first Glitch Slam champion, I guess, right now. Uh, because all of you guys put your heart and soul in all this bullshit. And so, uh, I'm really sorry about that. Bullshit? So, uh, yeah, yeah, what? Bullshit. Turn my music on. A disaster, you said. I heard that voice. A disaster, you said. I heard that voice. <laughs> 
because I, for one, think it was a rousing success. It was a disaster! What the hell are you talking about? Oh, shut up! It was me, you see. Dr. Tube, genius mind, massive creative of 10,000 city-crushing monsters, super nonplussed to be attending ugh, Glitch Slam right now. Look at you all. Yeah? Look at all these no. nerds! Yeah, I know. And what? Oh, and what? Losers! And what? Every last one of you. And what? There are not what? enough lockers in Long Beach to stuff all you nerds into. Not enough lockers in the state of California, North America, the planet Earth, the galaxy, and all the parallel worlds therein. Nerds, I say. EA Sports. Sports video games. Right. right. How about talking to a woman in real life? Or how about this? How about this? A video game demonstrating basic hygiene. Or walking outside into the sun. It's literally everywhere, people. Everywhere. And you. Me, what? John Carnage. Yeah. Or should I say? Should I say John Joyce? Oh, no, Jesus! No. What'd you oh, say? Oh, yes. No. That's right. Your real name. No. <laughs> oh, humiliation. No, definitely not that. I eat all of it. I eat it like sweet candy. I eat your booze, your derision, like sweet nourishment. So shut up. Okay. I believe no. my work. You're an asshole. You're an asshole? No. I believe my work here is done. I will be taking my leave. Minions, we're leaving. Let's roll. Okay, Bye, everyone. Get out of the ring, man! Oh, wait, wait, wait. He ruined wait, the show! Wait, wait, I have wait. so much awesome stuff planned for you people! He's a real jerk! It's all his fault! The cornflakes! Wrong. I'm forgetting something. Something's missing. Oh, wait. That's right! It's you! Who? Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Which is it missing? <laughs> yes! A pylon! Destroy him! I'm gonna Dr. bury you Cube's like EA posse. buried visceral games. <laughs> you know, John Carnage, they say. Look at this. Unleashing they chop say after mind chop. Over matter. But tonight, John Carnage, it is your mind that won't matter. <laughs> I mean, you get that right. It's, it's, it's a mind control narrative, people. Like that's. Like later tonight in Kaiju, I will control his mind. Pretty, pretty typical evil scientist stuff. Come by later and watch me. Watch me feed my hand into John Carnage's ass and work him like my own personal puppet. Oh, yes. Well, no, not. Not literally. That's gross. Tube out. Don't forget to get sick and die. <laughs> We got no console. We got no carnage. Screen stars, the stream stars, excuse me, fleeing the ringside area. I'm at a loss for words, ladies and gentlemen. What I want you to do is cheer when I come out of the end. Got it. Chop, chop. Ah, yes, thank you. My adoring minions and zeros, yes. I wanted to start off by addressing the startling lack of championship belts in my possession. That rotten Pedro Plantain is overripe and undeserving of the Kaiju Grand Championship belt. But rest assured, my adoring public, that will be remedied shortly based on some cutting tactics on my part. Yes, something guileful and ingenious. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm so, where was I? Oh, so, any real quiet. You there. All right. <clears throat> Rocket Man, it is. She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite. And then, I miss you so much, I miss my wife. It's lonely in outer space. It's a, it's called dissection. I 
got you! That belongs to me! Yeah, that's the sand in your eye. Give me that, nerd! Tubes number one, baby! Do not have Nobody saw that! Tip going! Tip going! Ha ha ha! die! Connection established. <laughs> a man applying spices in a whimsical manner. A timeless classic. Am I doing it right? This is how this is how it does, right? I'm doing Validate me! Oh well, that's all of them. On to my next dastardly segment! It has unwittingly come to my attention that you nerds like unboxing things. Now bear witness to the greatest unboxing since they dug up Charlie Chaplin. That's an actor of stage and screen, children. Read a book! I, Dr. Cube, will unbox. Dr. Cube, behold! My true face! Ugh, it gets so hot in here! <laughs> my next monster is summoned from a place worse than... Your city. You see, he is from... HELL ITSELF! <clears throat> I said... HELL ITSELF! and grilled to perfection by my hell monkey. I can almost smell it now. A quarter pound of locally sourced, never frozen Angus beef on a freshly baked bun with farm fresh toppings. I could kill for one right now. Good thing, always organic bear burger has 44 convenient locations. Conflict of interest detected. <clears throat> From throughout the galaxy, a monstrous mob of kaiju appear. A secret organization dedicated to monitoring mayhem containing kaiju aggression. The Kaiju Regulatory Commission worked hard to protect the people of Earth, but then... The KRC were betrayed by one of their best and brightest, Dr. Cube! A man turned monster, Cube now creates global chaos with his army of mindless minions and mega monsters. Thankfully, the kaiju heroes are here to protect the people and push back Cube's corruption. All-out war between the well-meaning heroes and Cube's posse did great damage to the Earth. The KRC, under the guidance of a secretive Kaiju Commissioner, hatched their greatest plan yet. To contain the violence to the ring, and so the Intergalactic Wrestling League Kaiju Big Battle was born. With Cube's focus shifted from world domination to the championship belt, the Earth is finally safe. Or is it? Giant monsters? Not enough for you? What do you want? Games? This ain't no game, Twitch. But fine. You gamers may remember when I premiered my MMO, RPG, RTS, DRM, FPS, DLC at the PAX PAX at PAX this past year. 
My minions work tirelessly on a typical developer's diet of diesel fumes and regularly administered beatings to pump out a title that clinched best of E3. Ugh! Ah, who got blood all over my controller? Again! Again! I... Oh. <laughs> oh, it was me. I remember now. Okay, let's play a demo for you, and I'll score something you people will never get in real life. Achievements! A brief loading screen here. Brief loading screen here. Are you serious? Oh, what? It's taking too long? Oh, no, Dr. Cube, it's not loading right. What? You make a game. You know what? You make a game, and then let me... Let me show up and shit all over your things! Shit all over your achievements! And while we're waiting, why not check out this thing? The battle! 99! Ah! We're here! We did it! Time to play! Look at all those graphics! It's... It's simply amazing. I can almost hear the internet buzz. I've, I've really done it again. I think I've done it again. I've, I've done I've done it again. Genius. Pure, unmitigated genius. Okay, well, it, it, for clarity, everyone, it's hardly out of beta phase at this point. It just needs, you know, nothing happened overnight. They said that, you know, like, how many times they have to build a Coliseum? How many times? You know, yet again, it's so easy. Roosevelt said, in the arena, when, oh, do I hear booze from the cheap seats? Is that what I hear, Twitch? You know, why don't you make a game? Because I think I did, I think I did great. I think I did a great job, and I know at least a handful of people that also think I did a great job. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, Internet. Connection lost. Kaiju Big Battle is an epic conflict of good versus evil. Scattered throughout the galaxy is a monstrous mob of kaiju, maniacal villains, ominous alien beasts, and gigantic city-crushing monsters who threaten Earth. Thankfully, the kaiju heroes are there to protect the good people of Earth from evil kaiju rule. The first group of humans to recognize the kaiju danger was a covert committee of world leaders who dubbed themselves the Kaiju Regulatory Commission, or KRC. Ever since its underground conception, the KRC has been a highly secretive assembly. The only thing known about the KRC is its purported mission. My adoring minions and zeros, yes!
board located. There we go. Hello. Testing, good. testing. Sweet. One, two. In the beginning, there was nothing. Then, there were Kaiju, megalithic beasts from across space and sea, and beyond time and the multiverse itself, forever destined to battle on our planet. However, modern times called for a modern solution to control the monster menace. Over 20 years ago, the Kaiju Regulatory Commission, the long-time clandestine monitors of this eternal struggle, created a new venture that instantly enthralled the masses and turned this primordial conflict into the premier presentation of live monster mayhem. They called it... Good evening, Long Beach, California. Good evening to everyone watching across the nation and around the globe. Prepare yourself for an experience that will be unlike anything you have ever seen. The most exhilarating, the most exciting experience you will ever see. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kaiju! Big Battle! Come on, Long Beach, let's make some noise! Good evening, everyone. My name is Mario Bueno, and I am your Kaiju Big Battle Lita announcer, and it is my pleasure, my sincerest honor to be standing in the Kaiju Big Ring on this particular momentous night. A night 11 years removed from a Kaiju Big Battle event that is near and dear to my heart, Spadoinko Mania 18. And tonight, we are looking to bring all of you, not just here at TwitchCon 2017, but all of you watching across the globe, the same kind of excitement, the same kind of enthusiasm, and the same kind of passion that still burns in my heart 11 years later. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Twitch Plays Kaiju? Come on, let's give it up, you guys! Now, ladies and gentlemen, being that this is a very special big battle event, a first of its kind official live stream on Twitch, 
We need a very special co-host to make this possible. For those of you watching live at home, if you were just tuned in for Glitch Slam, you are gonna recognize the man standing to my right. He was your Glitch Slam lead announcer. He is gonna be joining me at the Kaiju Danger Table for Kaiju Big Battle Commentary. He is a noted Saints Row enthusiast, so this particular song choice was no accident, ladies and gentlemen. He is no stranger to the Kaiju Big Battle, and he is also the host of his self-titled podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kevin Gale! World-class introduction. Give it up for the true master of ceremonies. You are the man. Kaiju is here. Kaiju is here. And TwitchCon will never, ever be the same the people here, the people around the world, man, Glitch Slam, Glitch Slam straight messed me up. But now I'm ready for some monsters to cleanse my palate. So let's get this on like Donkey Kong. And it, it is very appropriate that you mention that because we have quite a few uh, ape-based ape or simian-based uh, kaiju in the kaiju big battle. So I, I was quipping before that uh, we were waiting in what is known in the pro wrestling world as the gorilla position. And I was like, well, we have, we have way too many simian-based kaiju to really call it that because that gets kind of weird. Now... Oh, yeah, totally. Now, quick question. For those of you live in attendance, who here is experiencing Kaiju Big Battle for the first time? Quick show of hands. Oh, wow. So you guys are in for a treat. We are going to be calling on you to give us the power, to give us the strength, to give us the enthusiasm we need to carry ourselves through this exciting Kaiju Big Battle. And there's a little tradition that we have. When we begin our phytos, Generally speaking, we wait a minute. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, get to the danger table! Get to the danger table! Go, go, go! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. Tradition will have to wait because apparently some kaiju do not care about tradition. They do not care about pomp and circumstance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Darino, one of the members of Dr. Cube's posse. Darano is a devious duck, a malevolent mallard, and he is here to just take, wow, he is taking it to the town, and it looks like we need a hero, and a hero is on her way, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Pawa Rangeuru, one of the legendary kaiju heroes, is on the case. This is insanity. Well, that is exactly the kind of insanity that you can expect, Kevin. This is Power Rangeuru. Now, for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, Power Rangeuru is one of the original kaiju heroes. She is the, the, she's the, the special fairy of the kaiju heroes. Originally a mere mortal like you and I, sure. she transcended humanity after a tragedy involving her younger brother. And ever since then, she has always vowed to be on time every time. And today she is on time. <laughs> But it, it seems that something is a little bit off because while Power Rangeru, let's give it up for Power Rangeru, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my! Textbook execution but of that. We don't splash. have a referee. Oh, Whoa. it's Kaiju Senior Official Referee. You call that a knife, Dundee, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Dundee is here, but ladies and gentlemen, we need to restore order. As soon as Referee Dundee has restored order, this is going to be that tradition I was trying to tell you about before Darren so rudely interrupted us. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen. We are not even officially underway. No, not at all. And Power Ranger is definitely holding it back. Oh no, oh no, Tiki Rilla. Tiki Rilla, another member of Dr. Gibbs no. Posse. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress this enough. This is an unsanctioned Fido. This is an unsanctioned Kaiju big battle. Oh, poor Power Rangeru. But we believe in the power of Power Rangeru. Everyone believes in the power of Power Rangeru. Come on, everybody. Let's give Power Rangeru your power so that she can power out of this despicable predicament. Power Rangeru trying to fight back, but the deck is stacked against her. Two deadly kaiju. That's right, but she is holding her own as they are holding on to her. And she's hitting them with the, the ethereal enziguri. Ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Oh! Unbelievable driving both kaiju right down to that canvas. 
That's right, the Necromancer Neckbreaker dropping in with the cannonball. And another cannonball to Darano. Right through the building onto that, that beak, if you will. And you can hear the people here in Long Beach, California, getting behind Power Rangeru. Come on, let's give her that power. She absorbs the power from the fans at ringside. Oh my oh. God. Goodness power gracious. Almost had the whole top of her head clotheslined off. That was brutal. That's right, even when you have transcended your mortal coil, sometimes these things still really do hurt. Without a doubt. Muscle memory, uh, it remembers pain. Darano looking to drive no! her through the building. Oh, Power Ranger one, one, two. What? The Power Ranger powering out of the, the devious duck's evil power bomb right there, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Darano is not done stacking up some more buildings looking for an, another municipal power bomb. And it's oh, just, looks like looks like he's setting up Power Ranger's head. It's like a damage multiplier. Those buildings make everything hurt a lot more. We can see the end of the match right here. Look at that building placement. That's right. It looks like Dr. Cube's posse is, is looking for the, the ultimate hyper combo. Durano all the way perched up high. We all knew ducks could fly, but it looks so strange to see here in Kaiju. <laughs> big battle, that is. <laughs> and a That's big right. battle it is. And it looks like uh, this duck is going to be flying, definitely not in a V formation, unlike a certain other group of ducks that we are just 45 minutes away <laughs> Power from. Power Rangeru! Oh. Power Rangeru! One, One, two, three! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with a spiritual superplex, your winner, Power! Poetry in motion. I've seen a lot of things. I've never seen anything like that. What a comeback. Very aptly named, and she truly absorbs her power from this capacity crowd here at TwitchCon. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you joining us at home, this is just a sample of the long-running live monster mayhem that is Kaiju Big Battle. Let us, yeah, that's right. Let's boo this foul creature, this malevolent mallard, Darano. Get out of here, you devilish duck. Everyone's welcome at TwitchCon except you. Oh, yes. And as, as those of you who have uh, been tuning in since uh, Glitch Slam began, it has been absolute mayhem out here at the big ring. Dr. Cube, the leader of Dr. Cube's posse, has absconded with Twitch's very own John Carnage. <clears throat> now, I should also... I should also, uh, I should also point out that Dr. Cube, for those of you who aren't familiar, he is a disfigured mad scientist who is a literal Nazi test tube baby. So I am looking forward to him getting punched in his tofu looking face. Absolutely, and, and what disrespect to come into the inaugural glitch slam, take that console, disrupt the tournament, and take carnage? I know, it's, it's, it, it's un unfortunately par for the course. It's unfortunately par for the course with Dr. Cube. Uh, now. As you've probably noticed, for those of you uh, still tuned into our stream and just tuning in for the first time, we are setting up some question blocks. We have a Super Smash Battle about to take place here in the Kaiju Big Ring. In these question blocks are going to be mystery items that our two Kaiju are going to be able to utilize to inflict all sorts of hurt upon each other. A total of five mystery boxes the, the mind can't even fully process the possibilities of what could be in there. That's right. And uh, also, I should point out, we saw a quick trailer for the upcoming Kaiju Big Battle video game, Phyto Fantasy, which is going to release in early 2018. I would like to call your attention uh, to the uh, entranceway, uh, if we could also get a lovely shot of that from our wonderful camera crew over here at Twitch. You notice that lovely arcade cabinet that we have there? Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, live here at TwitchCon 2017, we are going to be raffling off the exclusive arcade cabinet, which will feature an arcade port made exclusively for one lucky fan of Kaiju Big Battle, Phyto Fantasy. 
And if you guys want to try the game outside at the merch table, we are exclusively debuting the playable demo of Phyto Fantasy. So after the show, please come on by if you would like to see this awesome new game in action. So we will be raffling this off later in the show. So one of you lucky boys or girls is gonna be going home with this awesome arcade cabinet. But you guys have heard enough from me. Are you guys ready for another epic Phyto? Yes. Are you ready for a Super Smash Battle? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce the first of our two combatants in this Super Smash Battle. Give it up for a member of Team Spacebug, Yars Minko. Not a very enthusiastic introduction and not a very enthusiastic reaction. But it looks like he is uh, showing some of that California love as he is coming out to the big ring. California may not have had a party, but I don't know that Yarsmiko knows how to party, to be honest. Who would want to party with that? Well, Team Spacebug is notorious for partying. Uh, their leader, who we have not seen in many moons, Uchuchu the Spacebug, is notorious for his royal jelly parties. Uh, they, they love to slam the royal jelly. Unfortunately, he has come to the ring in, in an inebriated state. Oh, really? Absolutely. Really, Arsmeko? Really? You just got here. Ah, uh, uh, you know what? Looks like we need another hero to take this, take, take this bug to town. If you hear that noise, that is the sound of the music that brings out one of the legendary kaiju heroes. Always making sure that his enemies bite the dust. He is the elder statesman of the kaiju heroes. Give it up for Dust Bunny! For generations, Dusto Bunny has blazed trails and taken out evil forces on more occasions than any of us could recount. But to be here in the dusty presence of greatness is truly an honor. Oh, absolutely. And the crowd here in Long Beach is definitely behind our favorite Dust Bunny. Kicking up dust as he enters the ring. Absolutely. For those watching at home, perhaps just take a big whiff under your bed or in the back of the closet to get some of that dust essence. Going to have to have that Sudafed ready to go. <laughs> I'm on Clarence All right. and D. It looks like our combatants are ready. Oh, oh, oh he's checking. All right. Oh, yeah, watch out. Very, very allergic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, since we have restored order, it is time to begin this Super Smash battle. We are going to follow along with referee Dundee. We are going to count down and declare Fido. So all together, three, two, two one, one, Fido! Fido! And our second Fido of Twitch Plays Kaiju at TwitchCon 2017 is underway. It looks like our two combatants are squaring off. Look at that. Just standing Whoa. and trading. You can barely see. Well, with all the dust coming off of Dusto Bunny, I'm surprised that Yarzminko can even see. But he, since he has those, those insect abilities. Absolutely. You can almost say it's a space bug sense, if you will. It's like the seventh sense or the 7.5 sense. Looks like we might be going for, for the eighth sense of the world. Looks like, oh, are we, do, do we want Dusto to go for a box? It Dust? looks like we, Dusto, oh, oh! <clears throat> looks like Yarsminko got to the box and also got the better of Dusto Bunny. And it looks like we have found a green shell, ladies and gentlemen. We all know what those do. That's right. We're lucky it's not a blue shell because then we'd be having a really bad time here and possibly ruining friendships in a certain karting game. <laughs> Dusto Bunny with that turtle shell. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he just hit Yarsminko with a, with a one life loss. Oh. Yarsminko trying to collect himself. Trying to get away from the moment from the mighty Dusto Bunny. That's right. This, uh, this kind of match has seen some interesting stuff uh, earlier this year uh, in Queens, New York. Oh, looks like we oh. have a hammer, ladies and gentlemen. You said it Classic. was on like Donkey Kong. Well, we are literally having it get on like Donkey Kong. Dusto Bunny. Dusto Bunny better hit it before it runs out. Right, it, there's only a limited amount of time. But what's, what's yours, Minko? It looks like he's just, he's, he's trying to play the waiting game. No. Oh, no, no, oh. he's done. He is done, Multiple ladies and gentlemen. Multiple shots, got a kill shot and a double Looks tap. like he's going Boom. for the pin. One, two, two. but Yarzminko 
Yarsmenko is a very, very strong member of Team Spacebug. That, that hard exoskeleton of Yarsmenko is going to make it very difficult, even with the one-hit hammer from Absolutely. the Donkey Kong series. It's still not going to be enough and to take down this Team three times. He got hit with it three times. That's Think right. Yarsmenko put Busto, Dusto Bunny on his dusty back. And it looks like Dusto Bunny is getting back into the fight. Oh, Yarsmenko is just daring. Daring Dusto Bunny to go for the next. It, oh, no, Dusto Bunny has decided he's going to take a very different course of action. Getting the bunny hop on, getting ready. Boom! No. Oh, nope, nope. Again, that, that exoskeleton of Yars Minko just makes it very difficult for any sort of direct offense. I've never seen Dusto Bunny just so overpowered like this. That's right, but Dusto Bunny has faced many, many difficult opponents in the past. He has found a way to overcome them. He will use his experience, he will use his cunning, and he will probably take advantage of any allergic reactions that any of his foes might have. Oh, 100%. Oh! You can see the hives uh, rising up on people's skin around ringside as Dusto Bunny is just getting down to his core essence here. There's a lot of bacteria in the air right now. That's right. Looks like Dusto Bunny is going to need to figure out some sort of other stratagem in order to get the upper hand on the devious bug, Yarsminko. Yarsminko perched all the way up. Oh! God! A splash two. from the stratosphere. Kevin, this is just some intense kaiju big battle action that everybody is able to witness. Everyone here is so lucky. This is the kind of crazy mayhem that we are so proud of at Kaiju Big Battle. And because we have the special uh, Super Smash element with the mystery boxes, we can only guess what's going to come next. Looks like Yarsminko is trying to go back up. Anything's possible, man. Yarsminko, who knew? Space bugs really can fly, and with that hard exoskeleton, it's got to be brutality when he lands. Oh, yes, because he's used to training in the... Oh! Oh, I was going to say, in the, the lack of gravity in space, and it looks like he just showed a lack of gravity with the 450 stratosphere splash, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh! Dusto Bunny got him! Dusto dropping him with the stunner. Ladies and gentlemen, he was not seeing that one coming. This... This was absolutely intense. Looks like this is going to two. be two up, oh, no. but it's no good. Yarsminko somehow finding the courage, the strength in his, in his cold, evil heart to fight on. That's right. Well, he's probably also trying to see if he can get rewarded by Uchuchu the Space Bug with some of that delicious royal jelly. And it looks like we have another item coming into play. It, it looks like it's a cell phone. A cell phone? It's, oh. I've seen this before. Kevin, he is phoning a friend. Phoning a friend? He is phoning a friend to take out this devilish space bug. Calling a friend oh, live oh, on oh, Twitch. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The, the arcade cabinet seems to be seems to be in motion. Is it moving? I, is I can't believe camera? my eyes, Kevin. This is this oh is unprecedented. God. What is going on here? The, the arcade cabinet is just, it's moving by itself, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what could be going on here. I, I, all I can see is just, wait, it's Sunbuster! Sunbuster, what from the Kaiju Heroes! Sunbuster is in the building! And it looks like he's calling out Yars Minko. And it looks like he is hitting pause. He is hitting pause on his controller, one of his special maneuvers. So it looks like he's using this moment to regroup with Dusto Bunny, trying to find a way to break through. And he's got Yars Minko up. Oh, brings him down. That horn almost driving back into his own brainstem. That's right. And what I have to wonder, though, is with phone of friends, there is usually uh, some sort of a time limit. We don't know how long Sunbuster is going to be here to give Dusto Bunny that advantage. Dusto Bunny struggling to get Yars Minko up. Oh. Remember, he is a very heavy mass of humanity, but with a little help from Sunbuster, he is, he is getting him up there. We might lose our rating. Oh! Dropping him right down. He is using the Earth's gravity yes. to his advantage. It was not pretty, but it was highly effective. Exactly. So we now have Sunbuster getting back up. He is being admonished by referee Dundee. He's being told, he's being told to get out. It looks like time is up for Sunbuster, which is not good for Dusto, who is now covering. He is now that. covering Yarsminko. He has pinned Visual him three pinfall. times over. Uh, Dundee! Dundee, you need Dundee, to turn around! On. One, two, and uh! The distraction, while it did help Dusto Bunny, it has now backfired on Dusto Bunny, ladies and gentlemen. 
dust, though, Barney. The deck stacked against him. Even when his friends help him, the deck is stacked against That's him. That's right. Just goes to show how powerful of an opponent Yarsminko is. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to give we need to give some support behind Dusto Bunny. Dusto Bunny. Dusto Bunny. Dusto Bunny. And for those of you at home, type in the Twitch chat right now your support for Dusto Bunny. We need to get all the support we can. Looks like Dusto is going for another mystery block. Let's see what he ends up finding this, this particular time. Looks like he's having a quick conference with referee Dundee. Wait a minute. We could have could, two boxes be at the same time. That's right, Yarzminko is also going for something. Oh! Interrupting him. Interrupting him and just Cheap going shot. to town. Well, Team Spacebug is not known for fair play. And it looks like Dusto Bunny is going back for the box, looking for what he's got. It looks like it looks like the power, power glove. glove. Even though he is good, it makes him feel bad. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like he's entering in some sort of a code. I it, it looks a little familiar, but I can't quite tell. Oh no! Oh no! It looks like the other box has the legendary golden no. gun! No! The golden oh, no. gun! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Kevin! He killed Dusto Bunny! He just killed Dusto Bunny! The one hit kill from the golden gun! From the legendary GoldenEye 64, Yarsminko, you fiend, you absolute cad! How could you do this to Dusto Bunny? What have we just witnessed? We have just witnessed a one-hit kill. I wait a minute. Dusto wait a minute. Bunny. Dusto Bunny is back from the dead, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin, what? I just realized the code he entered. It was the Konami code. Two, oh my God! Three. Konami code for the win, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Dusto. Dusto Bunny! That's right. L ladies and gentlemen. How do you survive a one-shot kill the, the, from the golden gun? Kevin, it was because of that Konami code. He had an extra 30 lives, which also actually, now that I think about it, explains why Dusto Bunny has been around for so long. It's just stacking up those 30 lives over time, you know. Right, you it's, just keep stacking. It's a very good strategy as well, because as all of you know, since monsters are real, danger can happen. This is a fact of life and death in the Kaiju big battle. So, cheers to Dusto Bunny for finding a way to cheat death right in front of our very eyes. Let's give it up, TwitchCon! So great to have a true Kaiju legend That's joining right. us here on these global airwaves. If and you speaking will. of the global airwaves, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have a mobile device and you are on social media, both on our Twitch chat as well as out here in Long Beach itself, get out your mobile device, get on your social media, and put in the hashtag trending title. Hashtag trending title, because ladies and gentlemen, that is the title that is going to be defended next in our special Kaiju Big Battle Twitch Plays Kaiju. This is a very interesting title. It has been uh, acquired by other legendary people, such as uh, Japanese pro wrestler Kota Ibushi, Ooh. previous holder of the hashtag trending title, and what makes this an historic match. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two combatants in this particular match is going for an accolade never seen before. This is going to be the next title, that Unicorn Party, one of the legendary kaiju heroes who has been acquiring gold, needs to get to achieve his goal of becoming the golden unicorn. So ladies and gentlemen, get hashtag trending title out there. Let's also bring out his opponent, who has also competed for the hashtag trending title. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out from Dr. Cube's posse. That's right, let's boo this guy. It is. And here's the thing. Everybody, get out your cell phone now. And you type the hashtag, hashtag trending title. That's right. That's the word. I want to see some phones up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I see some phones back here right behind us at the danger table. I see some phones out there as well. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Let the wrestling world know. Let the video game world know. Hashtag trending title. That's Part of right. the single biggest event going on this weekend, no? This year. That's correct. And it has been an exciting year for Kaiju Big Battle as well. We'll get back to that in a moment. So we have hashtag trending title beginning to trend, ladies and gentlemen. 
Thank you for your support of Kaiju Big Battle, as well as our wonderful hosts here at TwitchCon. So for all of you on the Twitch channel, thank you so much for tuning in for this awesome, exciting event. This is something, you know, so many people here witnessing the spectacle, witnessing the phenomenon, that this is nothing new. This isn't something that Twitch put together. This is a long running thing that's just a phenomenon. That's Kaiju correct. is a worldwide phenomenon and the big battles, none do it bigger. Yes, uh, we, we have been having the big battles for over 20 years and speaking of big battle, it looks like Tukor is going to be coming to the ring. Tukor has challenged for the hashtag trending title before. Tukor, a member of Dr. Cube's posse. Also looks like Tukor is having having some issue with some of the people in the in the danger zone. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that caution tape on the floor. That is the line that separates life Come and on. death. It is okay. We are fine over here at the Kaiju Danger Table. Thank it has God. been specifically engineered by the Kaiju Regulatory Commission to prevent all of its Kaiju commentators from suffering a fate worse than the Spanish announcer's table. You can see Tukor wanted to sink that beak right into us. Oh, and it looks like he just sank his feet into that building, Kevin. Now, this is this is why Tukor doesn't have a very good social media following. Just this, <laughs> this terrible attitude, this, this lack of respect. It looks like he needs the respect beaten into him by one of the competitors for the hashtag trending title. And I hear that music. Who is ready for a party? Who is ready for the unicorn party? I'm ready. I've been ready for this unicorn party. The internet's been talking about it for weeks. That's right. Unicorn party continuing the quest to become the golden unicorn, the first ever in Kaiju Big Battle history. What an unbelievable feat that would be to capture all the gold in Kaiju. And look at, at all time. that. Look at all that gold that unicorn party is already in possession of. Only two more belts, as you mentioned. That's right. Two more championships remain. That's right. You get them, Unicorn Party. You go get them. Ain't no party like a Unicorn Party because a Unicorn Party don't stop. That is exactly right, Kevin. And that is why Unicorn Party is not going to stop until he has become the Golden Unicorn. And he's bringing the party to our wonderful crowd here in Long Beach, California. Oh, yeah! WitchCon, Kaiju Big Battle. That's right, we are about to potentially witness more history. Just recently at our show in Brooklyn, New York, saved by the Bell House Unicorn Party, captured yet another title on the way to becoming the Golden Unicorn, capturing the Arm Wrestling Championship. Look at all that gold. So much gold, so little time. Let's see if Unicorn Party can add on to that in our next fight -o. Let's give it up for Unicorn Party! Unicorn Party on a quest for immortality. That's right. Kaju oh, Big and Battle. it looks like he, he probably could appreciate some immortality after taking that building shot. Oh, that is not going to be good for Unicorn Party. I don't think we've even officially started this fight. Oh, uh, Referee Dundee, let's call it three. Two, one, Fido! Fido! And this is now an official sanctioned Kaiju Big Battle Fido for the hashtag trending title. I hope all of you are still getting that hashtag trending title going on social media. Oh, Unicorn Party with a blind building shot. This is the kind of skill that Unicorn Party has been bringing to the Kaiju Big Battle, Kevin. You know, if you're new to social media, the hashtag's also called the number sign. Unicorn Party taking a brutal shot there to the head. That's right, but luckily Unicorn Party has that party horn which keeps his forehead protected. Forehead being one of the strongest parts of the, the human anatomy, but also one of the most sensitive if you manage to damage it. Absolutely. You but are Unicorn Party is no mere mortal. Unicorn Party is the living embodiment of all things vivacious, all things enjoyable. Wait a minute, Unicorn Party. That's right, going to the outside. Oh, oh, right into the front row. That's right. When we say danger can happen, we are not kidding. Hashtag trending title. That's right, Kevin. Their chant expresses everything I want to say right now. That's correct, Kevin, because that was very much that kind of a moment. <laughs> 
because we are we are experiencing the craziness, the pomp, oh. the circumstance, and the the cranial destruction that we are known for here in Kaiju Big Battle. That's right. These these wonderful Kaiju Big Battle enthusiasts know exactly what's up. They're oh, very oh, looks like looks like Unicorn Party is getting a little help from the TwitchCon faithful. Wait a minute. Oh! Imbuing the power of a kaiju into one of our wonderful fans. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for this wonderful TwitchCon attendee. You have been imbued with the party power. Use it wisely over the next few days. And so is TwitchCon 2017, as well as all of the TwitchCon faithful. It is because of you here in Long Beach and you guys all across the internet that we are able to bring you this exciting Kaiju Big Battle event. And I don't know if you know, but hashtag trending title is what it's all about. And speaking of what it's all about, we are we're taking this all over no. our TwitchCon arena. They've left, they've the, left Fido, the arena. The Fido cannot be contained, ladies and gentlemen. Unicorn Party is, is taking Tukor outside the, the, the danger zone. So if you are outside of the, the confines of the danger zone, be careful, everybody. And you know what? If you're outside the confines of the danger zone, you're about to be in the danger zone unwillingly. That's right. We have basically moved the danger zone for you. So hey, for those of you in the in the back row, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, and if you do if you do take a building to the face, we're really sorry. We're not liable. Yep. And if you do take a building to the face, please speak to the nearest Kaiju Regulatory Commission official. They will fill out the paperwork and take care of uh, take care of all the, the necessary health care that you will need. Absolutely, two core getting under the skin of these kaiju faithful at ringside. And Look I think at he's, I think he's getting under the skin of Unicorn Party because Unicorn Party is just it, it seems so frustrated because this is another step closer to becoming the golden unicorn, and two core is just making it next to impossible to achieve this goal. Do you think two core? Oh, whoa, wait, wait a wait, minute! Wait, wait! Unbelievable move! Unicorn Party taking down two core. Do you think with this? It's Siguri to the caught them on the side of the beak. That's right. Do you the think they even know? Siguri. Do you think they even know? Hashtag trending title is number one in Brazil. Oh, and it looks like he's setting up for the stampede, ladies and gentlemen. The unicorn stampede. Oh. Him. Hashtag trending title number one in Germany. Hashtag, hashtag trending title number one in Japan. Hashtag trending title number one in China. Hashtag trending title across the world, ladies and gentlemen. And we are bringing world class heart to the TwitchCon faithful in the form of Unicorn Party. And it looks like, oh, Two. looks like Tukor just brought some world class hurt back to Unicorn Party. Tukor delivering the pain. One, two, oh. So close, the so close, Kevin. Unicorn party trying to find a way. Man, this is tough. Two core is so damn tough. That's but the right. crowd hates him so much, he loses the advantage of having the crowd behind him. And it looks like Two core does not care about me trending hashtag or no, any of that sort of stuff. Title. It's very important. Hashtag trending title. That's right. He does not, well, he does not care about trending in general. No. That's was, was what I was about to say before I got a little tongue tied from all this chaos going on in the ring. Two core, not popular in real life, not popular on the internet either. Not even popular on Instagram. And I can only imagine what the uh, Twitch chat is looking like in terms of the strong takes for two core. <laughs> Here and we it looks go. Like, oh! Through the building! <laughs> Through the building! Through the building from the top rope! Unicorn Party's not done! Unicorn Party going back up. Come on! Party! 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 Unicorn Party! party. Oh, the Horned Headbutt! Horned Headbutt! One, two, two three. three! Ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen, Unicorn Party is now your new hashtag trending title champion! And now, that much closer to achieving the goal of becoming the Golden Unicorn. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Unicorn Party! Unicorn Party fought hard, parties hard, does everything hard. Now taking that quintessential step closer. All he needs now is that Kaiju Grand Championship to become the first ever Golden Unicorn.
That's right. Awesome. A regular unicorn is rare enough. A golden unicorn is unfathomable. That's correct. You do indeed deserve it. Good job, Unicorn Party. Another excellent performance. It's always, you always get world-class parties, world-class in battle performance from Unicorn Party. You know, a lot of people don't know this. Unicorn Party taught my friend Andrew WK how to party. And from there, a whole series of tremendous, magnificent events occurred. That's right, that's, that's the power of Unicorn Party, teaching the number one partier in the world and one of our favorite social media personalities. Absolutely. Party. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to take a quick 10 minute intermission. For those of you here in Long Beach, feel free to check out the Kaiju Big Battle merch table. Check out the preview build of Kaiju Big Battle Fighto Fantasy. We will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, stick around for more Kaiju Big Battle at TwitchCon 2017. Incoming transmission. Big battle, and maybe you haven't quite found your way yet. You haven't found that elusive win. But at least tonight, tonight, you get to give this lifetime achievement award to the Grizzled Theater, who, who unfortunately is no longer with us, but his spirit is with us. It's really quite remarkable. 
possible to see. You have succeeded at Peria so thoroughly, even I, aloft my fortress of solitude, has taken notice. Truly amazing. So, a toast. Bring me the toast. That toast? Is that literally a toast, you see?
which plays kaiju. Back for Kaiju Big Battle! So Kevin, we have had an exhilarating first half of the show, but we still have the best yet to come. For all of you awesome folks watching live, not just across the nation, but around the globe on twitch.tv slash twitch. Kevin, are you ready to begin the second half of our exciting show? I've been ready, man. This, there's never been anything that fit together better than TwitchCon and Kaiju Big Battle. This is just too much for KG. Well, let me tell you, we are gonna give you too much because we are going to have a double danger tandem tag match, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this next one is gonna be an interesting meeting of factions. On the one hand, we have the newly formed Sea World Order, led by D.W. Cycloptopus III, he is going to be followed to the ring by Skuida, the former Kaiju Big Battle European champion, facing off against two of our longtime Kaiju Big Battle heroes who have formed a brand new alliance. <laughs> if you are familiar with the Silver Potato, if you are familiar with Kung Fu Chicken Noodle, you are gonna love the newly formed tandem tag of the Bodega Boys. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, two of our favorite heroes have teamed up and they are here to bring the pain and bring the hurt to the Sea World Order here in Long Beach, California. Bodega Boys versus Sea World Order. That's right. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's bring out the Sea World Order, starting with the former Kaiju Big Battle European champion. Let's give it up and a very generous helping of booze <laughs> to Squida. Definitely not a warm reception here. Oh no, and looks like DW Cycloptopus is going to, oh, showing that they are true outsiders in the most literal sense of the word. They, they are undersea characters. One is, one is a, one is a colossal cr uh, crustacean. The other is one of the, the most dilapidated of octopi. Wow, and that's saying something. Not even suitable for calamari, and once again, the danger table protecting us. That's right. And DW Cycloptopus has never been one to, to run with the popular crowds, formerly being a part of the Sea Amigos with Uni Bozu and Call Me Kevin, other undersea kaiju who were never really liked. But they found a way to make it work. They did, and now? But now we have the next evolution, and it seems that, it seems that the crowd here in Long Beach definitely is expressing their discontent. And ladies and gentlemen, looks like we are starting to hear the music of one of my personal favorite kaiju heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, he is so good. He is bad kung fu chicken noodle. Kung Fu Chicken Noodle proudly representing the heroes as one half of the Bodega Boys. That's right, and joining him as the other half of the Bodega Boys, another former Kaiju Big Battle Grand Champion. Give it up for the B-Boy, Uber Tuber, one of the true heroes of Kaiju since day one. Let's give it up for Silver Potato! Now, like I mentioned, both of these kaiju heroes are former kaiju grand champions. 
They have been to the very top of the Kaiju Mountain. That's right. And their new alliance, the Bodega Boys, bringing food groups together. And they're making it 100% Claro. Little, little booty action from the B-Boy of Kaiju Big Battle. And this is the most festive I think I've ever seen Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. Kung Fu Chicken Noodle, back when he was a rogue, was, was a very serious, very solemn can yes. of soup. But formerly, now. Formerly a factory worker, converted into the Kung Fu behemoth that we see before our very eyes. He has since turned to the side of good and become one of the best Kaiju heroes in the Kaiju Big Battle. It looks like, looks like we are ready to go. Referee Dundee restoring order. You know, here's the Referee thing. Dundee, are we good to go? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's count this one down together for the second half. Three, two, one, fight! I think it's got a way on the mind of Kung Fu oh, Chicken look, Noodle. Look at the honor of Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. He, he is still a very, very respectful can of soup. It is a can of whoop ass. That's right, he is, he is happy to open the can in the metaphorical sense, but we definitely don't want to see him be literally opened up because I don't think no. we want piping hot soup pouring all over these wonderful fans here at TwitchCon. No, it is caution, it is hot, it will burn you. And it looks like DW Cycloptopus trying to get, trying to get his claws around the, the can of Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. The base of Kung Fu Chicken Noodle too dense. That's right. And it looks like instead of being a crushed can in the supermarket aisle, he is crushing the noggin of DW Cycloptopus. DW Cycloptopus is just not having it. it going, is... going right for the label, Kevin. Going oh, right no. for the label. It looks like speaking of opening cans, no, he is no, trying no, no, to no, open no, no. the can. No, no, no. Come Don't on. Do it. You Therefore, can do it, Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. You can get out of this. Gotta get out of there. That's okay. Kung Fu Chicken Noodle has faced some of the mightiest villains in Kaiju Big Battle and made it out relatively unscathed. So this is just gonna be a walk through the clearance aisle for him. But it's like you said, Kung Fu Chicken Noodle started out as a man. He became Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. That's a huge disadvantage when you're dealing with Cycloptopus and Scurella. Yep, and it looks like the Uber Tuber, who is a, a former pizza delivery boy himself, converted into the Uber Tuber thanks to a microwave accident with a baked potato. Never put he's, foil he's in the microwave. He's showing the moves. The Cliff Notes version, no tin foil in the microwave. Potato puede mover, ladies and gentlemen, because he is showing it off. He is he's showing his his courage. He's showing his fortitude, and it looks like he's he's showing off a little bit. Same with uh, Cyclops because we're gonna have a test of power. He's wow. going right for the claw because he is he just does not care. Oh, no fear in Silver Potato. He he has acquired wrist control for just a moment, as we all know in self defense, wrist control is very important. It's the foundation. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for our Kaiju heroes. Looks like he has brought in Kung Fu Chicken Noodle Soup. Soup, 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 soup. Kung Fu Chicken Noodle just wrenching, wrenching at the claw again. And it looks like they're coming up with some tandem tag strategy. Again, this is a newly formed tandem tag of the Bodega Boys. They are still just feeling out their, their new partnership. Absolutely. Like that, that, is, that is standard double danger tandem tag protocol. There's no substitution for Fido time. That's right. And it's going to be interesting to see how it stacks up because Cycloptopus and Squida have had at least a few months to gel as a team to become the Sea World Order that is is now well I don't want to say feared because let's be completely honest nobody has any respect for for DW Cycloptopus he oh. tries he tries his best but oh wait Squida showing off that that strength that he is known for unbelievable taking out both of the Bodega Boys in one fell swoop. Silver potato meets aluminum can. The cameras almost went down as well. Holy Absolutely. shrimp, holy shrimp, holy shrimp, holy shrimp, holy shrimp, holy shrimp. Kung Fu Chicken Noodle struggling to get back to his feet, but the good news is he's in the right part of town. That's right, using that can to his advantage. The, the can is one of the most Durable parts of Kung Fu Chicken Noodle, in addition to his fabled five-finger chowder fist. 
The five finger chowder fist is deadly to behold, but I digress, because Silver Potato, it's like, I mean, a, a Squera are standing and trading these devastating monster blows. That's right. Now, Squero recently uh, threw down at, over at our Brooklyn show, proving that he is a, a colossal titan, if you will. Someone who will not easily go down from normal physical damage. It is going to take something special to really bring down. Look at oh, the and it looks like. It looks like the crowd here in Long Beach knows exactly where it is, and it is Kung Fu Chicken Noodle Soup. There it is indeed. Soup, there it is. But unfortunately, Kung Fu Chicken Noodle is enduring a wicked beatdown. That's right. But we have, we have seen Kung Fu Chicken Noodle take on the entire swarm like at Spadonkle Mania 18, 11 years ago. We believe in you, Chicken Noodle. Chicken Noodle. Chicken Noodle. And it seems that we have some uh, adamant haters of the Sea World Order. That's how you know you're audience. succeeding. We see you in the chat too, hating on Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. What the hell is wrong with you? This is double danger tandem tag. That's right. It looks like DW Cycloptopus has gotten the upper hand or claw, as the case would be. DW Cycloptopus trying to, to get the, the upper claw again, getting Kung Fu Chicken Noodle oh. thrown into the corner of the danger ring. The whole danger ring just shifted six inches. And it looks like DW has shifted to the mat. He has hit the streets, hit the pavement in the most literal sense. Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Chicken, Chicken Noodle, Noodle makes the tag. That's right, bringing in the Silver Potato. Silver Potato, he could be going for the Spud Missile drop kick. He got him! Oh! Spud Missile drop kick! One of the signature maneuvers of Kung Fu, of, of Silver Potato, off of the tag of Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. DW Cycloptopus is on Dream Street right now. And Silver Potato threatening to tear the claw off the, that squid tentacle-like arm. How does calamari taste with potato? Oh, potato! Oh. Potato with the spinning dive right off of the ropes. But Squid Eye is not having any of it. Squira. Not, not, not a big fan of the showboating tactics of the Uber Tuber B-Boy, Silver Potato. <laughs> and Squira has such power. That's right. Such using size, every advantage. Using that power for the Sea World order. Looks like Silver Potato, Silver Potato trying to trying to figure out a way out of this mess. He's got to do something. He's got to make the tag. But meanwhile, Kung Fu Chicken Noodle just recently got out of there. That's right. We're hoping that Kung Ooh. Fu Chicken Noodle's resilience is Ooh. going to come into play. Give him the, the power to get back in this fight. Oh, you gotta be it, careful. You gotta be careful right there because if you split open that foil of silver potato, a lot of butter might come out. And it is hot butter as well that could blind you. Yes, we have we have seen the insides of silver potato before. We definitely don't want to see it again. Looks like Cyclopopus is going up to the rope. But Square silver up. potato! Oh! Oh, it backfired on DW Cyclopopus! DW taking the turnbuckle to the barnacles directly to the barnacles, right in between each barnacle, which is the most painful region. That's right, the most sensitive region, the nether regions from the creatures from the deep. Wait, and wait, it looks like they're making a declaration. I think he's saying, Soup, set the tables? Oh, it looks like they need a, a phone. Set, here you go, here you go. Soup, set the tables? Which can only mean one thing. It looks like, it looks like they're making a call they're making a call to the local pizzeria. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's a euphemism for, for those those little plastic tables that, that come inside a pizza box. You know the ones that keep the, the box from oh, yeah, the pizza. Yeah. The small I mean, white. I think oh and there's the, the delivery boy hey. from the, the local pizzeria. Pizza guys here. I, I mean this is not the best time for a snack break if you ask me, but wait wait a minute. I say win the win the fight oh first. What are they? No. They're, they are literally setting up these these pizza boxes. You know what it reminds me of? What's so, that? Kaiju Big Battle has been headquarters, uh, headquartered in New York City, New York, for the last few years. Uh, so the, the Bodega Boys seem to be bringing a little taste of Little Italy wow. to Long Beach, California. They're a long way from home this right is, now. This is feeling like, this is feeling like a, a, a scene from an Italian restaurant right down right down to the, the, the wow. tablecloth. I feel like I'm on Mulberry Street. Right? Oh, this, is, this is so authentic. Like everyone in the Los Angeles area is used to, to New York style oh, bagels, sure. New York style pizza. Well, we are bringing you, we are bringing you a New York style table setting. 
for a scene from an Italian restaurant. This is beautiful. Look at look at the look at camaraderie. Paisans sharing pizza slices. It's just, just, it's so quaint, it's so wonderful. And this is how special it is when Kaiju gets together with TwitchCon. Yeah, and Kaiju Big Battle, despite the conflicts in the ring, brings people oh, together. Oh, wait, no, 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 and no, 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 3D! And it's bringing Squilla right One, through the table! Two, two three. three! Ladies and gentlemen, your winners! The Bodega Boys, Silver Potato, and Kung Fu Chicken Noodle! Unreal! The Sea World Order may have been more established, but the Bodega Boys making it very claro that they got the victory in their debut formation as a team. That's oh. right. Uh, you could chalk it up to beginner's luck, or you could chalk it up to the fact that this is a tandem tag made of two of the greatest Kaiju Big Battle Grand Champions in Kaiju history. So as <laughs> As our Bodega Boys celebrate in the big ring. Look at Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. I didn't know we could break dance as well. That's also very yeah. New York City. Once again, once again, the, the partnership is, is an exchange of ideas, an exchange of cultures. In this case, Silver Potato bringing the B-Boy culture to the Kung Fu Chicken Noodle. And a lot of people forget, being a B-Boy is one of the cornerstones of the actual hip hop art form. It's a lost art in a way, and that's why people like KRS-One salute Silver Potato for keeping the art form alive. That's right, we are keeping the art alive. And speaking of art, it looks like some art is going up right now because we are about to have a, a very interesting Fido coming up next. Now, in, pro, in, in the pro wrestling world, for those of you not familiar, there are things called gimmicks. Gimmicks usually determine whether a match is going to have a particular modifier, have a particular stipulation. This Fido needs a gimmick. Yeah, it does need and a gimmick. And we are going to be deciding that gimmick live in front of you here at TwitchCon 2017. So our needs a gimmick Fido is being set up right now as we speak. And it looks like uh, we are Ooh. going to be having some interesting competitors in this one. Uh, yet another Kaiju Big Battle Grand Champion, the, the one who was carrying Kaiju North into Kaiju Big Battle Civil Wars in Orlando, Florida wow. earlier this year. The, the hero who was the, the champion of all that's good, the American Beetle. Now, American Beetle is going to be one of the participants in this particular Needs a Gimmick Fido. But I, I, think, I think we want to hear from American Beetle. Who here wants to hear from American Beetle? You guys, you guys want to hear from American Beetle? So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the real American hero of Kaiju Big Battle, former grand champion, the patriotic pugilist. Ladies and gentlemen, American Beetle! Such a proud moment for our country, for the world. That's right, like I was saying before, Kevin, American Beetle has been the truest champion in these dark times, holding on to the Kaiju Championship after taking it from Dr. Cube at knowing his half the battle earlier this year in Queens, New York, only losing it because of the machinations of Dr. Cube at Niagara Brawls during the summer. Yeah, Which, what, what went down at Niagara Brawls was insane. That's right, it was a history-making event you saw in our special Twitch announcement package our current reigning Kaiju Big Battle Grand Champion, Pedro Plantain, won the belt yes. during that particular event. Dr. Cube coercing American Beetle into literally handing the title over. And, and then American Beetle used his rematch right away. Yeah, that was incredible. That's a moment I plan to live and relive over and over again. Yeah, and if we can, uh, if we can get a, if we can get a microphone for the American Beetle, because I think American Beetle, American Beetle always has something inspiring to say. He is, he, he is the true patriotic wordsmith. American Beetle, we're working on that microphone, good brother. <laughs> it's okay. USA. 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 
It's okay because Beetle is the, the paragon of patience as well as patriotism. And, and you it know looks what? like American Beetle is ready to say some words. It takes extra time to get a mic made in America. Hola, mi gente! ¿Cómo están? Yo comí hoy Vascos. In and out burger, me encanta mucho. Muy bueno. Sí. Y quiero decir, quiero decir que esta noche yo quiero un lucha con Dr. Cube. Oh, he is calling out Dr. Cube, ladies and gentlemen. ¿Dónde está Dr. Cube? This is pretty what? brazen of America. Calling Beetle. out Dr. Cube. Hit my music. Oh, it looks like looks like Dr. Cube Hit my music. is answering yeah, the challenge. Oh, shut up! Let it all out. Cut my music. Look. You suck. You look here, American Beetle. You know I still don't speak Spanish. But I suspect you just challenged me to a fight -o. Me, Dr. Q. Genius mind, master creative, shut up. 10,000 city crushing monsters. You want to fight me tonight. Challenge accepted. Let's go. And it looks like Dr. Q might be stepping in to accept this <coughs> challenge is not the thing that's going to be happening tonight. Thank you very much. Oh. And of course, oh, let it all on out, TwitchCon. I would deign, deign to sully my hands upon him in Long Beach. Shut up! Besides, look, American Beetle, nobody here wants to see Dr. Cube get beat up. Am I right? The so the eyes have it. I'm not wrestling tonight. Oh, no, 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 no. You will be met in combat this evening, American Beetle, but it will not be high. Oh, no. It's going to be this guy. Wait a minute. Who is Dr. Cube bringing out? It is Erebus, one of the bruisers of Dr. Cube's posse. Oh, dear. If there was any time that I wouldn't want a randomly selected gimmick, it would be at a time like this. Erebus is, again, one of the strongest monsters in Dr. Cube's posse. Without a doubt, and you said a keyword, strong and monster. And he, even, even worse, Erebus has those poison spikes. So Erebus is, is no... Yeah, well, you know, here's the thing, those poisonous spikes, if they get into the heartbeat of America, if they get inside the American Beetle. Yep, and just to give you an idea, so you have noticed that there are signs all around the Kaiju Big Ring. So what our combatants are going to do, they are going to pick the gimmick that they want this match to be. We have such eclectic choices as the traditional Kaiju arm wrestling match, the generic plastic building blocks match, because let's be honest. The Poison Bananas match. And my personal favorite, the Blindfolded Electric Eel match. That's right. So we have some very interesting Fidos that they can choose from. So it's going to be a matter of who is going to get to it first and present it to our Kaiju Senior Official Referee, Dundee. I think we are just about to get underway. Are we ready, Dundee? Fantastic. Long Beach, are you guys ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's count it down. Three, two, one, Fido! So now, it's this Fido is basically a race to see who is going to get their preferred oh. gimmick stipulation for this Fido. Erebus is just taking it to American oh my Beetle. God. Beetle taking it back to Erebus. American Beetle just planting that size nine right in the center of the oh, chest and drops the dropping, leg. Dropping the patriotic star spangled leg drop. Like a true American hero. He's getting Erebus back up. Look at the power of the Beetle. That's right. Bringing the power of patriotism to Long Beach, California. And I'm loving it. 
Star Spangled Spin. Erebus took the ride. And it looks like Beetle, Beetle's trying to, to regain, regain his bearings. He's getting ready for something. And meanwhile, Cube is just completely flabbergasted over in the side. He can't believe what he's seeing, berating Erebus. Here comes the Beetle into the corner, nobody home. But Wait, Beetle's got the have, side. He does have his gimmick. He has grabbed a gimmick. Looks like, oh. Oh no, it Erebus fell. is not gonna let him keep that gimmick, however. The sign fell to the floor. And it looks like, looks like Beetle is trying to find the gimmick. Meanwhile, Erebus looking to pick a gimmick. Oh, oh, the, the blindfolded electric eel. Blindfolded oh. electric eel match, could it? Wait a minute. Looks like, what's Erebus, Erebus doing? Erebus is taking it. It's taking, taking the long way. I, I'm a little surprised at this tactic. I don't know if it's confidence or, or if it's, if it's some, uh, some kind of hubris. Oh, oh my God. American Beetle putting his life on the line for his country. That's right. It looks like looks like that hubris has been met with gravity defying devastation. And it looks like in the in in the shuffle. Wait, they've wait, handed the gimmick handed the, to Dundee. Wait, let's let's take a close look. It's Wait a minute, it's the Kaiju arm wrestling match. That, Wait a minute, that's, that's the one that, that American Beetle. American Beetle chose oh, that no. Erebus had the... I, I think in the chaos, the cards got switched, but it looks like referee Dundee is making this official. Referee Dundee has declared this a Kaiju big battle. Arm wrestling fight -o, Which favors the American Beetle, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Erebus has competed for the Kaiju Big Battle Arm Wrestling Championship before. He arm wrestles a so lot in his free time. And it looks like uh, we're making a charitable donation to the, the TwitchCon loyalists here. American Beetle suplex through a building. That's right. That armored head plate may have absorbed some of the blow, but not all. Now, for those of you not familiar, a Kaiju Big Battle arm wrestling Fido requires the opponent oh! to have their arm pinned to the mat for a three count. Very specifically, the entire arm. The entire arm must be in contact with the mat for three seconds. And it looks like Beetle, Beetle is trying to soften. That's right, he's trying to soften up the entire upper body of Erebus to make sure that Erebus can stay prone long enough to get that three count on the big, beefy, spike-covered arm of Erebus. It's a monumental task for the American Beetle, but like any good American, he's up for a challenge! That's right. You almost got the arm right there. That was two and three quarters. He is, he is the monument of machismo in the Kaiju big battle. Without a doubt. Showing us why he was the dominant grand champion all year. Only losing that belt because of the machinations of that evil mad genius there, Dr. Q. Wait a minute, Dundee. What is, what is going on? Looks like, looks like Erebus, Erebus is taking a moment there. Erebus is distracted. Schoolboy! Going for the schoolboy! Schoolboy! Oh! But unfortunately, even if he got the three count, this is a Kaiju arm wrestling match. Correct. So even if he had gotten the three, it wouldn't have counted because he needs to pin that arm to the mat. The arm, the arm only, the complete arm, and now Erebus firing back. That's right, it looks like American Beetle got a little bit, a little bit too excited about having this match, or this fight go his way. Oh, the power oh. of Erebus! Coming down on the sternum of the American Beetle. Come on, USA, USA, USA! USA and Erebus showing showing his experience with the Kaiju Big Battle Arm Wrestling Division. Very smart strategy, just repeated pinfall attempts on the arm. That's right. Also trying to keep American Beetle prone the entire time, and he is getting back up. Looks like he's oh, Doctor Cube. Come on, Doctor Cube. He is a despicable, deplorable doctor. Always trying to make sure that the posse comes out on top at any cost. Looks like they are setting up setting up a tower of debris. Dr. Cube's posse, it makes it so hard to fight them. American Beetle, how many people does he have to fight? How many buildings does he have to go through for his country? That's right, Dr. Cube, while he has overcome his machinations before. Wait, American Beetle. Wait, he's Beetle. got Erebus up, showing, showing the poder de patriotism. And he takes Erebus right into that pile of buildings. 
American Beetle saying it is over. Beautiful USA. Death Valley driver from USA. USA. Oh! American Beetle. Showing you how it's done. That's right, taking taking it to Erebus. With that, with that cannonball going up, he oh. could potentially be going for the Stars and Stripes leg drop, a top rope leg drop. It is a finishing maneuver. Oh! Instead, oh. it's the Stars and Stripes splash! Stars and Stripes splash! He has the arm! Two, two three. three! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the American Beta! American Beetle showing the power of patriotism. A red-blooded American, the American Beetle, taking a moment to celebrate with his supporters That's here right. at TwitchCon. And it looks like Erebus is sulking off to the, the back there in shame and defeat. Dr. Cube is no doubt going to be very upset about this. I was going to say American Beetle did it fairly, but American Beetle really had to beat two people to win that match, and he did it in the arm wrestling classic, yep. and now oh, American wait, Beetle American wants Beetle. a microphone. Yeah, that's right. It looks like he has something to say in response to, to this very exciting victory at this very exciting big battle Get that Beetle. TwitchCon 2017. Get that Beetle a microphone here. One of our wonderful Salvinos. For the record, the Salvino Construction Company is the group that keeps Kaiju Big Battle going in the middle of all this city crushing chaos. Hola! Hola! Gracias, mi gente. Por ti yo me gané esta noche. <laughs> Dr. Q, in Somerville, Massachusetts, noviembre, yes, he say, te voy a agarrar y te voy a ganar. Porque yo soy American Beetle, y sí se puede. Sí se puede. Sí se puede. Sí se puede. And for those of you following along, he has just issued a challenge to, our, uh, to, to Dr. Cube at our next big battle, the final one for 2017. Once more, up onto the breach in Somerville, Massachusetts in November of this year, November 18th. We will hopefully be streaming that live on our new Twitch channel. That is right, Kaiju Big Battle has a Twitch channel. It is on twitch.tv slash Kaiju Big Battle. So if you are new to the Big Battle and you want to follow all of our exciting escapades, check us out, subscribe to us. You will be able to see Big Battles whenever we are able to present them. And don't let spell check fool you. Battle is B-A-T-T-E-L. That's correct. Only, only winners spell it E-L. So ladies and gentlemen, we have had a lot of excitement here today, but there is one person who we have not yet heard from. One of, one of the most important figureheads in Kaiju Big Battle, one of the former Kaiju Big Battle lead announcers whose hollowed, hollowed shoes that I am following in. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a word from the Kaiju Big Battle Commissioner, Loudon Noxious. To the thousands in attendance, and the millions watching around the world. I am the Kaiju Commissioner, loud and noxious. On behalf of the Kaiju Regulatory Commission, I want to take this opportunity to give you a sincere and heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you today, especially our gracious hosts at TwitchCon 2017. But wait, there's more. Well. I'm not just out here to show off my mid-October California tan. I'm also here to preside over the biggest main event in Kaiju Big Battle history. I present to you the first annual inaugural Twitch Continental Championship! 
the first annual inaugural Twitch Continental Championship title. It slices, it dices, it makes disco tots, and is made from a space age polymer for family fun for all the years to come. And not only that, it can be battled over by combatants that were determined by you. That's right, you, the fans! We scoured and polled the Kaiju Faithful for two combatants today who made the biggest impact of 2017, and those big battlers will be coming out in just a moment. But wait, there's even more! For the first time ever, in the spirit of TwitchCon 2017 and Twitch.tv, this big battle is one that you, the fans control. That's right, every punch, kick, slam, dive, and every city-crushing maneuver is in your hands. You can call it a Twitch Blaze Kaiju. But wait, there's more. Wait, what? There's no more. Back to you, Mario! Now, where did I leave my daiquiri? What? Uh, the, the Kaiju Commissioner has always been a bit of a, a, a gallivanting playboy. Yeah, it's kind of a thing, but thank you very much, Commissioner Loudon. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event, Fido of TwitchCon 2017! Now, this is a very important moment, Kevin. Uh, we have to do something very special for this. I require the ceremonial shirt of shirting. Uh, Mr. Salbino, let's, uh, let's get the shirt of shirting. The shirt of shirting? The shirt of shirting. Ladies and gentlemen, this shirt has been passed across the multiverse. Every single first Twitch play that has ever occurred has been graced by the presence of this amazing article of clothing. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now being passed on to us today because this is an exciting kaiju big battle. Did Dr. Cube seriously steal the shirt of shirting? So let's see, he, so if I understand this correctly, he's stolen the shirt of shirting. He has stolen John Carnage. So ladies and gentlemen, as, as uh, Commissioner Loudon has mentioned, you guys picked our combatants, so we are going to see who is the number two rated one who is going to be competing for the Twitch Continental Championship. Looks like it's going to be from Dr. Cube's Posse. One of the legendary villains of the Kaiju Big Battle, one of Dr. Cube's oldest monsters. He is literal health spawn, ladies and gentlemen. It is Hell Monkey! An all too familiar stench fills the oh, air. Oh dear, what has Dr. Q done to John Carnage? <laughs> oh, you don't like my latest most bodacious creation? Cut the music! TwitchCon 2017. We've had fun, right? Good times, right? Well, slap that stupid smile off those fetid, filth-ridden faces of yours, because I'm running this circus now! <laughs> ah, shut up! That's right! All of you lame donkey dicks out there in the crowd, on the feet at home, in your stepmother's basement, folks! This is now Cube Country! Behold! Your precious feed now belongs to me! Oh, yes it does. Don't bother checking it. Don't get, get off your phone. Get off your phone. This is definitely happening. This is real life now. <laughs> you thought the internet was evil before? Well, buckle up, kids. It's about to get very weird in here. <laughs> like my work with Twitch celebrity John Carnage? Wave real big for your adoring public. <laughs> this is just That's right. See. Wave real big. That's nice. That's... Now knock it off! Tonight, Johnny Boy will be logging the moves for this match because, that's right, folks, your main event is now turn-based. And even though I, Dr. Cube, have definitely assumed control of the Twitch feed, don't bother checking this, this cubetocracy will be one of benevolence and impartiality. 
So please, everyone on the feed, flood it with your moves. No wrong answers, whatever your chubby little heart desires. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I don't trust Dr. Cube one iota, but there is one person who will trust him even less, and that is the number one voted on Kaiju monster who is going to come out and compete for the Twitch Continental Championship. Let's find out who it's going to be. I think I recognize that music. That is the music of one of the newest and most popular monsters. Ladies and gentlemen, 50% organic, locally sourced beef. 50% All-American Grizzly Bear, accompanied by the Bear Ranger, ladies and gentlemen, Burger Bear! Take a look at the almighty Burger Bear. That's right. Burger Bear has been literally clawing through the entire Kaiju Big Battle roster since making his debut last year. And he was the most voted on for fans, so he is going to be going for one of his very first Kaiju Big Battle championships since joining the Kaiju Big Battle. And it's not just any championship, it's that Twitch Continental title on the line. That's right, but with John Carnage under the control of Dr. Cube, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm now tuning into the, the Twitch Twitch channel. Uh, we are already seeing some moves here. Uh, it's, it, it's going to be, oh boy, this is gonna be a very interesting fight, though, to say the least. All right, looks like we are ready. Referee Dundee, are you good to go? Fantastic. TwitchCon, are you ready to go? And here we go in three, two, one, Fighto! And the first move is from definitely not Cube 420, and it is for Burger Bear. It is an armbar. Armbar? Yeah, armbar. And it's from not Dr. Cube 420? Yeah. Uh, the Beave is now requesting from Hell Monkey a drop toe hold. Wait, wait, that drop toe hold is being canceled by John Carnage. Instead, it's going to be a monkey flip. Monkey flip. Monkey flip from Hell Monkey. Who can do it better? And it looks like Burger Bear is going to have to avoid being flame broiled as he fights through the fire and flames of the oh Hell no! Monkey offense. Oh, oh dear. Highly modified monkey flip right there. And our next move comes from Dizzy Hellfire. This is for Burger Bear. This is another arm bar, seriously. Oh, another arm bar. Are you? I, I sense Dr. Cube's hand in all of this because Review Away has just requested a hammer lock from Hell Monkey. Wait, what? No, it's what? being waved off by Carnage. What did they do to Carnage? This is, this is very appropriate. It looks like they want a clothesline from Hell, from Hell Monkey. Not just any clothesline, clothesline Boom! from Hell! Sending him all the way down. Almost took his damn head off. That's right. We are, we are getting glimpses into the tortured souls that make up Hell Monkey. And now it looks like Rad Trash Dad is asking Burger Bear to do a suicide dive, really? A suicide dive from, and Hell Monkey is just climbing out. It's, it's like Hell Monkey is just egging on Burger Bear. Almost as if to say, come at me, bro. I smell a setup here, something's going on. Well, hopefully we won't be smelling a charbroiled uh, burger. Oh. And not the kind that we want to see, because yes, that, as, as expected, this did not work out. Uh, we are now getting a request for a spinning toe hold from Hell Monkey. Seriously, John? Come on, Seriously? Carnage. Oh, come on, this is excessive, John. Kevin, we, we are getting a request for a, not only a top rope splash, but a top rope splash with Flourish to build their attitude meter. Build that the attitude meter, that's how you end matches. Right? And it looks like they're looking to end it with this move. Going for full charisma, full attitude. He's got From it. From the top, oh! Oh no! Oh and, no! And once again, these, these tears in the dimensional fabric letting us get glimpses into the tortured souls of Hell Monkey made up of many tortured souls. And it looks like, oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is awful. Definitely not Cube 3. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sure. Definitely not Cube 3 has asked Burger Bear 
to attack Bear Ranger with his finishing maneuver, the burger to belly. No! This is despicable. Not to Bear Ranger. Not Bear Ranger. Bear Ranger is, Bear, is Burger Bear's manager. His wrangler, the one who, who is the, the voice of reason right. that keeps this wild animal on the side of good. The one who soothes his grizzled edges. He is 50% delicious organic beef, of course, but the other half is 50% American grizzly. It's a deadly combination. Oh, and it looks like he, he now has a combination of processed emotions going on. The Everyone crowd, here, no one wants to see this go down. I never wanted to see this day. The, the bond between them is unbreakable. Super and, kick! But apparently, John Carnage is not unbreakable because it looks like he has just taken a super kick from the Bear Ranger, but it looks like John Carnage, John Carnage might be, might be coming too. John Carnage getting CPR off a super kick. You're right, it is unbearable. Here we go. And it, the, the bear bite, the no. bear bite. It looks like he's getting ready to finish this off with the mighty delicious bear claw. Bear claw, bear claw, bear claw. Bear claw. Bear claw. This could be it, this could be it. The burger to belly, burger, burger to, to belly. belly. Textbook One, execution, two, three. he got him. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Burger Bear has overcome the odds in this Twitch play. Wait a minute, looks like Dr. Cube is conferring with his minions. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Dr. Cube is taking taking to the big ring. Take the L, Dr. Cube. Oh, he will never take No, it. no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn that music off. Stop cheering. Stop it. Time out. Let me get in this one. Ignore that. That didn't happen. You really think? Shut up. I'm getting in the ring. Not because you said so. Wait. You really think you've accomplished something here tonight, don't you? Wait, what, what do you have there, Dr. Cube? Really show, Dr. Cube, what's what, huh? Well, think is again. This, oh, seriously? Because this comes. This is yet this another is, genius plot twist. Is, is this a coupon from, from, from Groupon? No, it is a cube pawn. And yes, I got it from Groupon. I don't know where you get your. Yeah, and it. Uh, referee Dundee, can you verify this? This says that it's now going to be a two for one handicap Fido? Two for one, baby. That's right. Wow, talk about, talk about sick deals, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Got sick deals. Is it, is it legal? No, is go on. Official? Check, check, check the, the expiration mark. date, Dundee. Kind of he checked down. it. He's checked it once, checked it twice. I think it is this, a, oh, this it, Fido it's completely ironically legit. expires tomorrow. Oh, it's completely legit. And this yeah. Fido. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Begins. This Fido starts right now. now. Oh, and Dr. Cube taking it to Burger Bear and Bear and Ranger. Bear Ranger, stomping. This is despicable, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Cube pulling out the coupon. We have seen this tactic before. I don't know how he keeps getting these. I thought they were limited to one per purchaser, but considering he hacked the algorithm for the satellite feed. And not, never forget the basic premise. Dr. Cube has a posse. He's similar to Andre the Giant in that regard. He travels nowhere alone. He rolls deep when he goes out for chip dip. That's right, and he's going right after Bear Ranger. Look at and this. And Burger Bear. Oh, they are working those buns. They're working those buns in, in the worst way possible. Trying to tear those very sensitive sesame no. seeds. No, trying to pull out the fries. No. God, those are like a cat's whiskers. Very sensitive. That's right. Oh, if only uh, Bear Ranger, Bear Ranger is trying to come up with a stratagem, but they, the odds are too great. If, if only there was something they could do, some what? sort of way to make this work. What could it be though? Because Burger Bear right now, if they're, oh, oh my God! Oh dear! They are flipping the patty, Kevin. They are flipping that patty. And it looks like, looks like Bear Ranger is looking for something here. Wait, is that? Is I that... think that's the cell phone that we saw during our, our, our Super Smash Fido. It is. It looks like, I think she's phoning a friend. She is phoning a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm not mistaken, she is, yes. She's making a desperate call, a literal desperate call to arms. And it looks like the arcade machine is moving again, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, it's, no. oh, oh my God! It is Metal Wing Black! Metal Wing Black of the Kaiju Heroes! Metal Wing Black swinging that guitar! He is the most punk rock of the Kaiju Heroes. 
coming in to save his comrades, taking it to Dr. Cube's posse. Metal Wong Black evening the odds, and now it's an almost fair fight against Dr. Cube Posse. That's right. Burger Bear is regaining his burger mites in the corner there. Bear Ranger getting a small portion of revenge. That's right, and it looks like we are having some tandem tag Fido going on here. There you An go. An amazing tandem tag flip. Oh! Working together like a well-oiled machine, but here comes hater-ass Dr. Cube. That's right, Dr. Cube will just not tolerate any of this, but he is taking advantage of the situation as Dr. Cube is wont to do. That's he all is, he does. He is picking on Bear Ranger. He has no class. Dr. D Cube setting up Bear Ranger here. It looks like, oh no, 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 no. Stalling. Oh! oh! Stalling suplex to the Bear Ranger. Well, while Dr. Cube may employ cowardice, cowardice tactics, he is still a very formidable fighter in the Kaiju Big Battle. That is why he is the leader of Dr. Cube's posse Absolutely. and not a mere follower. And he is setting up Bear Ranger once again. Meanwhile, Hell Monkey is cheering on his master. Dr. Cube taking a lot of time here, trying to get Bear Ranger up. What's he going for here? Looks like he's setting up for, for a very powerful maneuver showing the TwitchCon crowd what he thinks. Showboating a little bit, as he is wont to do. He is showboating, but here's the thing, Bear... Oh, oh my God, Dr. look at Cube, his face! Dr. Cube has been unmasked. Like I said, he is a disfigured mad scientist. He is an ugly, hideous human being. Looking like a melted candle. That's right. Burger Bear, or Bear Ranger, Bear. taking advantage of this while Burger Bear still collects his bearings in the corner. Bear Ranger, Bear Ranger laying it all on the line. Ducks the line, in fact. Yep. Beautiful. Dr. Cube to the mat with a DDT. Dr. Cube's mutated and burned head making contact with that canvas. Handspring elbow from That's the right. Ranger. The head is very sensitive. That's why he wears that boxy helmet to protect his hideously deformed face at all times. Oh. oh. You can almost say he's the unhandsome Jack of the Kaiju Big Battle. <laughs> Without a doubt, Dr. Q. And it looks like he is still picking on poor Bear Ranger. If only the phone a friend hadn't been a limited time offer. Here we go, this could be the end of Bear Ranger. Oh no, oh no, oh dear. That's it. One, One two, two, oh one. no. Bear Ranger powering oh, no, no. out. Only two. Only two. Dr. Cube is beside himself. Is the power of that wholesome, organic, locally sourced meat that is, is consumed by the Bear Ranger when she is not tending to the 50% organic Bear Burger of Burger Bear. <laughs> both parts of Bear Burger are very demanding, but they're both very rewarding. That's if right. If you're on his side. And it looks like, looks like he's oh. definitely on the side of of his partner, Bear Ranger. Burger to oh, belly! Burger to belly! Burger to belly! One, two! Hell Monkey! Oh, Hell Monkey breaking up the pin after a burger to belly from Burger Bear. That would have been it right there. Hell Monkey putting his stinky paws in where it's, it's not needed. And it's been it's been a real miracle for, for Burger Bear that Hell Monkey has not used that, that Hellfire infused tail, which has been used to bring down so many opponents in Kaiju Big Battles past. Hell Monkey is setting up some buildings for something foul, something nefarious that only a Hell Spawn would come up with. You gotta spawn directly from Hell, and not a quick respawn either, like a slow marinating spawn. That's right. An interesting fact, like I mentioned earlier, Dr. Cube is a literal Nazi test tube baby. He has a literal Hell Spawn right down to the mono eye. He is basically a one-man Bethesda catalog, Kevin. Oh my God. He only needs an arrow to the knee. One arrow to the knee could take him out, but now Burger Bear trying to That's turn the right. tide on Hell Monkey. Looks like, no way, he can't be. Burger, Burger to belly. belly! Burger to Belly Superplex! Burger to Belly Superplex, ladies and gentlemen! One, One two, two, three! Your winner and the first ever Twitch Continental Champion, Burger! It's been a long and winding road for the Burger Bear. That's right. The first singles title for Burger Bear in Kaiju Big Battle. And you, ladies and gentlemen, here at TwitchCon 2017, 
and all of you watching live on twitch.tv got to bear witness to another historic moment in an historic year for Kaiju Big Battle. What a night it's been. That's TwitchCon, right. Kaiju together like peanut butter and jelly, and we got the a brand new Twitch Continental Champion. That's right, and this is a perfect moment to remind all of you to follow Kaiju Big Battle on Twitch.tv at twitch.tv slash kaiju big battle. Follow us on our social media pages so we can do things like the hashtag trending title. And of course, trending number one in Prague, Czechoslovakia. Woo! Thank we you, did Czechoslovakia. It. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, we have.